Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. So last week I was at Siemens PLM Connection Conference in Las Vegas, and I had a chance to try out some of the hardware I found on the exhibit floor. What I saw are new ways to interact with 3D digital data, some prompted by the emergence of multi-touch technologies, and others prompted by the increasing computing capability. All of these will eventually lead, I think, to augmented reality mixing physical props with digital data to interact with objects that have not yet been built. So let's have a look. Now most of you are familiar with 3D Connection, a company that produces 3D mice, but you might not be that familiar with Space Control, a German company that is preparing to enter the 3D market with similar 3D mice, priced roughly between 320 to 370. Now, to make matters a bit more complicated, the existing company, 3D Connection, has a series of mice called Space Explorer, Space Navigator, and so on, with Space Themed. That is not the same as the name of the new company, Space Control, whose product is called Space Controller. The way it works is, the 360-degree freedom of rotation ball in your hand is translated into the movement of the 3D model in the program window, so the tilt, the angle, the push, the pull operations are much more intuitive than doing the same with a mouse pointer on a flat screen. The recommended approach is, you can imagine holding the 3D model in your left hand as you enter numeric inputs or initiate certain modeling commands like filleting or hole punching with your right hand, the dominant hand. Now you can also pre-program the buttons at the base of the unit so that you can quickly go to the front, side or top views of the model with just a simple click. And the sensitivity of the rotation can be adjusted in such a way so that you can make it less responsive or more responsive based on your preferences. Now people have seen and become quite familiar with touch screens thanks to iPad and the other tablets. But imagine having a wall-sized touch screen. And the way you interact with DWG files, your rendered images, and the way you do markup and annotation on your shop floor drawings and manufacturing drawings will be quite different. Here I'm testing out a HP touch screen on display at Siemens PLM Connection exhibit floor. Most of us know Canon mostly for their digital cameras, but you might not know that Canon has a lab where the company is testing out and developing augmented reality solutions. In the first instance, once I put on this virtual reality goggle, what I see inside the glasses is a digital model of a camera, even though what I'm holding in my hand is actually just a cube with a series of markers. In the screen behind me, you can see what I see in my view. Then in the next exercise, Canon staff calibrated the system in such a way so that the location of my goggle, and by extension, my place, is placed inside the digital model of an industrial crane operator's hub. When I look up or look down, you'll notice that in my view, it's shifted perspective so that I feel like I'm sitting inside the driver's seat. You can see both the video feed of the real world and the digital model in the same screen. Now this allows me to check my reaches, my seating area, my ergonomics, as if I was sitting inside the crane operator's seat, something that currently exists only as a CAD model. For a long time, we have been stuck behind a keyboard and a mouse interacting with 3D data on a flat 2D screen that pretends to be 3D. The new 3D mice, the new multi-touch screens, and augmented reality technologies are slowly changing this flawed computing dynamics and it brings us closer and closer than ever to a hybrid environment that consolidates digital and physical 3D space. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong, somewhere in virtual reality, also known as The Matrix.